you'll notice that, um, let's say, a Tosca tenor <laughs> uh, by Puccini there uh, has an F sharp for a tenor and a B at the very end of one of the arias, tanto la vita. Generally speaking, that tenor will shape round that B natural on that avo. The most refined of them will. B natural then for the avo, F sharp, they will cover, the first note to cover in a sustained forte for lower lyric tenor, spinto tenor, held in tenor. Um, B flat and F for highest the highest baritone. The Helen tenor will also have a perhaps a half cover there in an F. But in a quick explanation, we'll just go through these real fast. A and E for the lower baritone or standard baritone, Verdi baritone. Down to bass, A flat and E flat. Where does that leave the bass baritone? The bass baritone must be able to both open an E-flat and cover an E-flat with equal quality, equal excellence, equal amount of forte carrying power and impact in the opera house, as well as the A-flat, which can be rendered in both ways as well. So the difference between a bass and a baritone is very, very little, less than a half step even, in terms of where the passaggi are, not in terms of where the color is, in terms of where the passaggi are. So a perfect fit for the men. For the A vowel, briefly if I can, the A and the O vowel will function. This is so important. And I don't know why voice books don't go through this. The A and the O vowel, as and again the great singer Luciano Pavarotti, he will cover objectively the A and the O vowel, which you can see and hear, one half step lower than the ah vowel. Again, when we cover a vowel, the vowel will automatically close slightly more than what it is. For the ah vowel, it will shade toward an aw. For the e, eh, shade toward a closed a, even as in English, today is a closed a. But det is an open a. E, eh, a. Eh. Close slightly as we shape our mouth with each vowel. Open o will close slightly to let's say even English, pure O, which is equidistant between open Italian O, O, and closed O in French and German, tot. It's equidistant, it's in between. It closes slightly on the first note that makes it shift. Again, the A and the O are half step beneath the A. The A rests alone is the highest note that waits to cover, half step lower. So for me, I would cover an E natural for A and O. I'd wait to an F for the A vowel at a forte sustained pitch. Again, we're using the cover at least a half step lower for piano. The A and the O will function in the first passaggio a whole step lower, two pitches lower, not just one. In the first passaggio or lower pitched passaggio, that B flat that I mentioned for the lyric high lyric baritone, B flat becomes A flat not a natural, a flat, two half steps, the e and the o function there. And mathematically, you can go through each half step. And I may do this in, in uh, great detail, I hope so. I hope I'll have enough time for that later on.